Good morning. Um, I just wanted to tune in today and talk to you guys about intentions. This morning when I was doing my meditation, I actually didn't have a lot of time at all. I was kind of rushing because um, I went to bed late, but um, I did like a brief meditation and I just really started thinking about my intentions. Um, keeping in mind that today was already written and it's up to me to finger paint in today and also, you know, stroke for tomorrow. And if that went over your head, it's like, you know, pretty much all we can do is thrive in what we've created, which is what we're going to experience today but also put in that effort with our thoughts and our energy, um, our intentions, just to create something for our future. And the intentions are really all about like, kind of grasping. I used to be a control freak, I still am in a sense, you know, but this is cool because I'm just controlling what I want, you know, I'm creating what I want and no longer does the matrix have control over my mentality. You know, I'm not looking outside of me for something to <clears throat> guide me when I know that my guidance is coming from the inside. I mean, if we're a reflection of the stars and the stars are out there and they're not telling us anything, then the only way we're gonna get the messages is here and then also like that brief interaction. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the subconscious or what it's responsible for, but the, sub the subconscious is responsible for 90% of your reality. And your subconscious is something that has to be tapped to, into in a sense. Your conscious living, your conscious time, I guess you could call it, um, it's just 10%, 10%, and that's not a lot. So that means all this tap dance that we're doing every single day is literally 10% of our reality. So if the 90% is in the subconscious, then how are we tapping into that subconscious and, you know, creating what it is that we want, you know? <clears throat> so with that all being said and going back into the intentions, the reason why intentions are so important because if everything is energy, we have to direct the energy in some direction. Or if you want to, you can go outside and shoot an arrow in the sky and see where it lands. Good luck with that. Um, for me, I kind of like to have a plan A. I used to like to have plan A, B, and C. Now I'm just like, let me go with the flow and just trust, you know, the universe, trust the ancestors and the guidance that I'm getting for, um, that I'm getting and that I'm asking for every day. And, um, yeah, I really come into my own personal power, you know? Um, so like with the intentions, it's like, if you start in the morning when you're in bed, you're in a low frequency, you just woke up, you're kind of groggy, you know, you start doing your deep breathing, you say what you're grateful for, and think about what you're going to, or you want to manifest in your life. And if you don't know, that's okay. You can, you know, ask for guidance, because you have your ancestors around you, you have your spirit guides around you, and they're always assisting you whenever you're needing it, whenever you're wanting it, you ask for it, you know? Um, but going back to the intentions, I always go off on a tangent. Going back to the intentions, <clears throat> so basically, all you need to do is think about where you're gonna direct your energy. So you put yourself in that, you're already in the low frequency, you know, you're doing your deep breathing, it only takes like 10 deep breaths to really center you, and when you start thinking about, you know, what you want to get out of the day, what you want to, yes, what you want out of the day, not what you're going to do because that's 10%. What you want, what you're putting your mind to, your thoughts and your, you want to put your energies towards you, that's your intentions. And so throughout the day, this is the hard part because 
you already put your intentions out there. Now it's just time to listen to the guidance. And I know for myself, it took a long time. I'm like, okay, this is what I do. This is what works for me, you know, for something to come up. And then it's kind of like out the way. I'm like, I don't know if I should be doing that. I mean, I recognize this thought, but you know, I got to do what I got to do. And this is how I know best. But that's before I really try to get in tune with my intuition. Like getting in tune with my intuition has really gotten me to the point where now I really, on a day-to-day -day basis, I can understand why I have free time. Like right now, I'm at the shop, I have a client, and um, she's late. She said she's gonna be 15 minutes late. I thought I was gonna be a little late, but I ended up being like 10 minutes early. And since she's gonna be 15 minutes late, that's 25 minutes for me to put together this video because I woke up thinking about intentions. And <clears throat> yeah, so here we are. And I'm just kind of going with the flow, you know? And I did a little Snapchat or whatever. And I see that like the cards or the stones, the stepping stones are being laid down for me. And all I have to do is be centered in the now. I can't do anything about my client being late. I'm just gonna sit here and chill, make the most of my time. And look at it's gonna be something not only good for me, for somebody else, whoever watches this video. Part of me feels like I don't wanna edit this video either. <laughs> I got a ring light from uh, walmart.com, y'all. It's coming. And uh, yeah, I've had a lot of good people hit me up and give me some good advice on how to make my videos better. But you guys are going to catch me in different places because I feel like the best thing for me to do whenever I have a message is just to drop it and, you know, hey, this is what I'm going through. I know I'm a catalyst. I know that's part of my journey. Let me just put that out into the universe. Whoever needs to hear it, got some questions, hit me up. Leave a comment down below. Oh, I'm getting real good at this. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do that right now or when you get a chance. <laughs> Um, yeah, so set your intentions this morning. Set your intentions whenever you have a chance to get centered and you feel like, you know, life is chaotic around you. Think about your intentions. Think about if you're going out into the world and you're just like, what's going to happen today? Are you one of those people who just goes outside and shoots the arrow into the sky and see where it lands? Or are you directing your energy?